it's your girl Shay here and I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to be doing a review on the movie Pitch Perfect 3 that released in theaters on December 22nd. Now where Pitch Perfect 2 left off was with the original girls graduating and leaving everything up to the new legacy that had started at their school. Well, Pitch Perfect 3 basically starts off with the recording of a documentary by our favorite host played by Elizabeth Banks and also another character whose name at this point I kind of forget but I believe they call him John during the course of the films and they were making a documentary based off of the Bellas and seeing where their lives are now since they have graduated from Barden College or Barden University sorry so pretty much all the Bellas are kind of hating their lives after graduating and they kind of misperforming together and it starts off of course with Becca, as you can see, she's now a music producer and she basically quits her job. After that, the Bellas actually end up deciding to join the USO on a USO tour along with three other bands. And of course, with it being three other bands, there is of course a competition involved. And there's no shortage of music involved in here, no shortage of drama, as well as no shortage of comedy. Now one of the biggest things that I had, well issues I had regarding this film was that the drama that they had regarding this particular movie was around Fat Amy and you learning a little bit more about her past including about her dad which is played by John Lithgow. Now it wasn't that it was a bad thing to learn more about Fat Amy's past, but to be honest, it kind of wasn't needed for the course of the film. I just felt it was a way for them to make the film longer and also as a way to make the film a little bit more interesting to deviate from the usualness of the Barn and Bellas having to compete in some sort of a competition. Not only that, but the competition sequences were that great. To be honest, I love the music once again, but still, it wasn't like there was a whole lot of drama regarding the three other bands that were involved. One of the biggest bands though that were like the Bella's biggest competition was a band by the name of Ever Moist. Yes, you heard it right, their names are Ever Moist. And they were a pretty good band, but from the you know trailers that you saw of Pitch Perfect where you kind of thought that was going to be like their biggest competition and that you're going to be learning a lot more about this particular band and all of the above but to be honest you didn't learn a whole lot about them. You saw them in several different scenes regarding it, regarding the film but and you could tell they didn't like the Bellas very much but there wasn't a whole lot regarding them like trying to sabotage them or talk to them as there were in the previous films regarding their competitions. Now. Once again, overall, the music was amazing. I literally, once I got out of the movie theater with my boyfriend, we both were downloading the songs off of Apple Music. But still, it just, it wasn't as great as the previous ones. I still think the first Pitch Perfect was probably my favorite. But this one, it was cool to see how they wrapped everything up, to be honest. But it just didn't have as much oomph regarding the previous two films. Now, do I recommend watching Pitch Perfect 3? Yes, if you've seen the first two, I do recommend seeing the third one just to see how they wrap everything up. But um, still be warned that it's not as great as the first other two. And there are a lot of parts in the film that I felt just didn't really need to be there. And I feel like it was just a way for them to make the length of the film longer. And there's also some scenes that you saw in the trailer that actually weren't in the final finished product of the film which I've seen happen before but then they show them strangely enough during the credits which was kind of interesting. Overall if you haven't seen Pitch Perfect 3 I do recommend going to go see it. But this is a great way to end this franchise and you will we'll definitely enjoy the music. So that's my review of Pitch Perfect 3. Once again see it in your local theaters if you haven't already and don't and be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I come out with new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And I'll have a new review for you guys soon on either a book or a movie or anime or even just a discussion. So look out for it. Alright you guys. Bye!